China is not just about Alibaba or DeepSeek. There are various AI labs which are churning out models like anything these days. I have been covering most of them and in this video I am going to cover this new model OpenSeek Small from Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence or BAAI. Beijing Academy of AI is a private non-profit organization engaged in AI research and development and their aim is to empower technologies to benefit people and planet. So pretty um, lofty goal. So let's check it out what exactly this model is. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this OpenSeek small model, which is the initial production model of the OpenSeek project. This new model utilizes DeepSeek V3 like mixture of expert architecture. There are only 1.4 billion total parameters and out of those 1.4, just 0.4 billion are activated. The training has been done on simply 720 billion tokens and the benchmarks which they have shared on their Hugging Face model card shows that this model has outperformed a lot of 1 billion parameters model out there and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So let's get started and this is the Ubuntu system I am going to use. My GPU card is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. While that happens, if you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so let's wait for this to get created. And now let me create all the prerequisites, which are torch and transformers. This is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Everything is installed. Next up, we need to log into the Hugging Face because this is a gated model. So you would also need to log into Hugging Face from their website and accept a terms and condition and grab your read token from your profile. And then you can see that I am logged in. Let me launch my Jupyter notebook and then we will play around with this model in the browser environment. Okay, so now let's download the model and its tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded and make sure you also specify the subfolder because for some weird reason, if you go to the models hugging face card, it is within this directory, which is, uh, I think, a bit of a poor form. It should be in the main directory anyway. Let's wait for the model to get downloaded. It is just over three gig of size. The model is loaded. Now let's do the inference. First, I'm just asking it what is the third smallest country in the world. And then in the standard way, I am encoding the input with the tokenizer. And then model is generating the output. We are decoding it back and printing out the response here. So let me run this. And the first response which it has given is totally wrong. It says it is Kazakhstan. Um, the third smallest country is Nauru, which is in Pacific ocean small island in terms of area so maybe it is con con uh, confusing it with pop but even in population it is not the smallest uh, i'll just say what is third smallest country in the world by area let's see while it runs let's also check the vram consumption so consuming just over two gig of vram you can run it on cpu too okay so you see it is totally wrong in this one too. But we can let it go because it might be uh, due to the small size of the data set which this model has been trained on. This uh, geographical information is not part of that training set, but it should be able to do some sort of text generation because this is what these are LLMs are all about. That is why in the next one, I'm asking it that 
as the director of the Museum of Imaginary Correspondence, show us a heartfelt letter written by a child to his mythical pet, which is a time-traveling unicorn. And it has given us a response which looks pretty good to me. So you see, it is saying, Dear Time Traveling Unicorn, I hope this letter finds you well and that you are enjoying the adventures you have been on. I wanted to write to you from the heart to share a story that might make you smile and wonder if I could be here to help you. So pretty simple, but it has followed the instruction well. And it feels like uh, written by a child and uh, I mean, of course, bit of a robotic too but that is what state of the ai is at the moment but all in all not a bad response if you compare it to the first prompt i think it has written a very very good formatted letter given the size of the model and then there is even a ps i'm not sure if child is aware of ps um but anyway i would say a, a good response okay let's check out another generation uh text where I am asking it that give me a short comedy routine about being a tourist in Sydney, Australia. Make sure the routine is not lame and it has generated it. Okay, so it is talking about cozy cafe in the heart of Sydney, a tourist with a camera, suitcase and a smile. So it already is trying to be a bit cheery and it says that, hey everyone, I'm here and I'm a tourist in Sydney and all that stuff. Camera pans to the view. So it is falling into the script of the prompt. And then it is tourist is talking here and it says, I'm not just a tourist. I'm a real person. I have got my own thing and this so uh, pretty okay, I would say. And then, so camera is moving towards this. It's a comedy routine. And then it says, I think I'll take a break from the camera and enjoy the city. I would love to come back and see what I have learned. So it's not really very, very funny. But I think it has at least tried its best, I would say. Let's try another one. So I am asking it that please generate 10 creative and endearing nicknames for my wife. Make them sweet, playful and unique. Let's see how it goes. And there you go. There are a few names. One of them actually is quite funny. So whisper wise, that's a, it's okay. Peach Popsicle, that's a funny one. Sunshine Sister, okay, no, that's not good. Luna Lover, Bubble Buddy, Glow Glow, that is slim. Merry Morning, Honey Honey, Nectar Nest, Leela Leela. Okay, well, let me know which one do you think um, would you go for. So, let's so it is okay i would say not really that much earth shattering okay next up let's check the multilinguality so i'm asking you to translate i love you in various languages i don't think so it's multilingual maybe bilingual in english and chinese but let's check it out so yeah i don't think so maybe few of the languages look good like german maybe arabic um, but rest of them i don't think so it has even gone with Urdu and then random language is French. Anyway, if you are that language speaker, please also guide me. But I don't think so. It has done uh, good enough there. Next, I'm checking its math capabilities. So let's see if it can do this Euclidean algo. There you go. So it has come down. Okay, pretty good start. Not bad at all. Okay, so it says the square root of 25 is a five and if i quickly check my the answer there no i don't think so. the answer is correct the answer is not correct i believe anyway let me maybe ask double check it with chat gpt yes so chat gpt and also lava they all say that this is partially correct but not really uh, up to the mark there anyway i don't think so it's for math Let's try out a coding one. I don't think so. It's a good coding um, model. I won't really recommend these smallish model for coding. I think for text generation, for creative ideas, or any text generation should be good enough in that smallish model for your edge devices is a use case for this model. So if I look at the code, not bad actually. Yep, it has done good. Some categories, some file handling. It's just... 
okay so not bad at all i think in coding terms it has done quite a decent job but still i believe that this model is for text generation mainly so for on edge devices but let me know how you go with it if you are trying it out uh, but pretty good start and i'm more than sure that they are going to release more versions of this open seek it seems like a start to me at the moment if you like the video please like it and share it among your network if you haven't already subscribed please do so thank you very much